And now, yeah, we got today the last two zombie versus hunter trucks. Well, the double packs, anyway. So let's get this show on the road. First off, we've got uh, some zombie, zombie, you know, kind of a double negative there, and Hunter Soldier Fortune. So now the back has the renderings of this line, so of the of this mix. So this is going to be pretty nice. That's nice that they include that. My mom found these in Florida. I have not been able to get my hands on these things, you know, because Illinois stinks <laughs> as far as getting things. Okay. So, first one now. There we are. We'll look at the zombie zombie. <laughs> There we are. And you can see not much changes about zombies' appearance. So that's kind of a comp out that zombie hasn't changed really appearance. Just roll cage and and the wheels. Uh, they you've got the same articulation in the arms. They're a little stiffer than in previous incarnations. You got the exposed brain, the brain right here. You got the crazy looking eyes. But yeah, I think they definitely, they could have, I think, done more with this as far as appearance. So this one in the zombie versus hunter line, this is more of a meh. <laughs> I, I can think of a few better choices than that. Now this is the hunter soldier fortune. Now this one is really cool looking. You got the regular soldier fortune body. But it's got a bunch of rust on it, and oh, and it, you know, it just looks mean. It just looks menacing. Looks like it's been out there for a while. You know, it's got all, kind of a camo feel to it. See, you got rust on the hood. Goes all the way up past the doors here. And uh, you have rust on the on the back here. But yeah, you got a little on the top. It's got the standard hunter chassis, you know, brown. And you got the gray and brown wheels. But this is actually a pretty nicely done hunter truck. So the big drawback is zombie zombie. That is definitely a detracting. But you can just kind of call that just a, another variation. That was definitely, they could have definitely picked something else for that. Uh, but I do like this zombie soldier fortune. This thing is pretty cool looking. Next up, we have Mar zombie monster by Dalmatian and Hunter Max D. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, same thing before. We'll look at the zombie first. So this is Zombie Monster my Dalmatian. Okay, doesn't that look sick? You got the yellow ears and the yellow tail. Now it's got the green rim, the green tires. But it's got green rims. Green roll cage. Yeah, I am really liking that over the, the yeah. The, I mean, it is night and day with these two. You could call that, you could call this a technical variant. This thing is pretty cool looking. It's got blood splotches on the top. It's green. It's got the yellow tongue. You know, it's got blood on the teeth. Yeah, that, that is nasty looking. That is nasty looking. That is pretty cool. And then we have Hunter Max D. I am really liking what they did with this. Like I said, I like what they're doing with the Hunter trucks. They haven't missed at all on these, and it's really showing. It's got rust, the rust, it's just covered in rust. In the front here, everything is subdued. You know, very subtle looking. 
you know, it's definitely been out there for a while. And you got you got the you got the Max D, Maximus on the side here. He looks a little weathered. You got you know, chain. You, if you look at it, if you look at the top, there's chains that are visible on the lines there. Oh yeah, that that is nice. And everything is, you know, the the rust goes all the way to the back, to the front, to the sides. It's not overwhelming, but it really works well with this truck. Standard hunter body with the brown chassis and the wheels. But yeah, they didn't mess with this one. And now we're gonna compare all four zombie trucks and all four hunter trucks together. Because this is supposed to be the last one in the line. So, let's start with the four zombie trucks. Now, this is from Mix 1. Now, Mix 1, you have regular Monster Mutt. I am I like what they did here. I mean, this thing is blood red. It's menacing. Got green splotches. You got the green windshield. This thing, I would not want to run into this. Oh, yeah, but, you know, it's got the dark red tail and the ears are slightly forked. But, yeah, th this is, this is pretty nice. I like what they did here. And whereas all the other zombie trucks have the green chassis, this one has a yellow one. So that is pretty cool looking. And it's got the red rims. I like that. I'm liking that. So that is definitely near the top of the list. And now we have... Yeah, I'm going to just slide these over here. And now we have Zombie Grave Digger. Again, I really like the way they went with these first two. You got instead of flames, you got blood here. And you got blood up top of the Grave Digger logo here. I mean, you know... This thing, you got the blood red side on the paint there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't want to write that. That is just beautiful right there. Now, that, that is very Halloween-y. Now, you'll notice it has the black rims. You know, same green, you know, and the tires are a little, slightly different hue than the Monster Mud uh, is. It's got the dark green, got the regular green chassis, which we're gonna see is a common theme in the other two. But yes, that thing is nasty. And by the way, at the end of the video, I will be giving you my favorites for each of the four trucks. But so far, these two were hit. Next up, we have Monster Mud Dalm Zombie Monster Mud Dalmatian. I would, you know, I, again, I would love to see the drivers run these run these schemes. That would be awesome, in my opinion. Now you're gonna see this. You know, this one has blood splotches. It's dark green. It's got the yellow eyebrows, blood on the teeth. You know, this is pretty. It looks more like something with a bad case of measles, don't it? <laughs> but it is. It is sick. It is green. I like this. Not as much as I like Monster, regular Monster Mud in this variant, but this is still a pretty nice variant. You'll and you'll look at this one, how it has the light green. And this is the only one with the light green wheels on the inside. And next one, probably my least, finally, for the zombie trucks, probably my least favorite. And that would be Zombie Zombie. I mean, how can you improve on the original Zombie Truck? You really can't. And, you know, th this was, in my opinion, a poor decision. You know, it has, it has the uh, green chassis. You can see it here. Dark green. It's got the red rims and the green, you know, same green tires. But that's really the only thing that's different about this from other variants. This, mm, I really do not like this variant of zombie. But not to say that it is a bad variant. I would get this double pack just for the other hunter truck you get with it. 
But if you, but this in a singles pack, I would pass on. Now we're going to look at the four hunter trucks. Now we're going to something a little different here. Now the hunter trucks, this now this is going to be a very hard decision because all four of these are awesome, by the way. So my least favorite out of this is zombie. Probably my most favorite out of this would have to be the zombie grave digger. Now let's look at the four hunter trucks. We have the Max D. We have the Max D Hunter truck. Like I said before, I love the extent that they went with the rust and the chains on the top here by the Max D. Uh, you know, that it, it's weather beaten. It's, it, it, it's obviously been out in the rain and been out in the forest for a long time. That is pretty awesome. I like the direction they went with the rust. I really am liking that. Next you have the Hunter Soldier Fortune. Again, I really like the direction they went with the rust. It wasn't overpowering. It was, but it was still really well placed and well rendered. So the, you know, this is pretty. That is really. I'm glad that that they did that the way that is. This makes up for the zombie zombie letdown. This definitely makes up for it. And now from mix one. We have Earthshaker, Hunter Earthshaker. Oh, yeah. I, one of my favorite features of this one is the radioactive dirt they put in here. Instead of making it leaving it brown, they made it green and radioactive. So that's pretty cool that they did that. Uh, you turn it around. There's a little, there's a little, there's no rust on the back. Most of the rust is on the front and the sides. See, you got the chain holding it together up front here. You know, across here, across the hood and the top here. That is pretty cool looking. You know, and you got the uh, graphics. You know, it's, again, not overpowering, but it really works well with this truck. Because you don't want it, the rush to be too strong. That is, that is a really good variant. And finally... The Hunter Son of a Digger truck. Now, first thing you'll look and you'll see the chains along the front here, bar barbed wire right here. There's chains up top here. The rust isn't the same on one side as the other. This side is, you know, there's a little rust, there's some rust on the top, uh, a little bit on the back here. You know, some right here. Oh, uh, you'll notice they didn't do the whole flame, the full flame wrap, which I always thought was annoying. And you'll look at the grill here. The grill is, is all rusted, so that's pretty cool looking. You got the working headlights, and then you've got this side, which is obviously had the door replaced because it's you know it's hung on there. They're holding it with chains, the door on with chains. And the same amount of rusting over the rim here and kind of in the back. But that is pretty awesome, I think. But yeah, that is a you know, that is a very well done variant of some of a dig or two. Like I said, this is going to be very hard to pick a winner out of this group. Now I really don't hate any of these four trucks. I really do not. I mean they did an excellent job. There we go. But yeah, they did a very nice job with all four of these trucks. Oh, uh, I don't really like. I said I don't hate any of these variants. They are very well done variants. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I had to pick a favorite variant. I'm going to say, well, we'll have to rank these, you know, oh boy, number one would have to probably be the Max D variant, because the amount of rust on this thing works really well with its color palette, second place, we had to be the Sun of a Digger, because 
I'm a Seven Digger fan, and I love what they did here with the barbed wire and the chains. Third, we have to be Soldier Fortune. I'm a patriotic sort. You know, to me, it looks a lot like Woodland Camo, so that's a really nice touch. Fourth place would have to be the Earthshaker. I know some people will disagree with me, but yeah, that, that that's just I, I call it how I call it how I see it. And uh, yeah, you guys just have a really good day. I'm glad that you know. I'm so glad that I got these uh, these double packs. And just for fun, let's throw in a couple. Of, let's go throw in two of the singles that I have. You know, just for just for funsies. Makes it, you know what I mean? <laughs> there we are. So then I really have six zombie trucks. These are the singles, packs, pirates, curse, and megalodon. So megalodon looks like well, it looks like a diseased shark, doesn't he? He's got the red rim, and the only one I've seen with the red rim. But yeah, I'm I'm liking what they did there. You got the teeth and the fins. It's got the it's got the uh, green wheels. But otherwise, it's typical zombie truck. Then you have Pirate's Curse. The sword's green on the you know, in its mouth and what it's holding, which is pretty cool. It's got the black rims on the inside there. Its chassis is yellow. That is pretty cool, I think. You know, you got the blood red on the side there. You know, there's a... Where the, the... What would be gray or yellow is red. You got the red eye patch. So that is pretty cool looking. Like I said, the only zombie truck that I have an issue with is the zombie zombie truck. Otherwise, this line has been really, really good. Well, bye.